the things that will really help you attending class every day. When, when we're going at a pace where you're meeting three hours a week and it's only in 15 weeks, missing one day can be the equivalent of missing two or three days in a high school class. So again, attendance is crucial. Um, doing your homework as soon as you can. Uh, students are busy these days, and a lot of times we like to take class from 10 to 2 and then be to work at 3 and work from 3 to 11. That doesn't always work. You need to carve out time to study. You need to plan ahead. When are you going to study? Where are you going to study? And as close to that class as possible, if you can study for math right after math class, it's better than waiting until Sunday night before the assignment's done. Always prepare for class. Don't go in cold. Now, you, everybody's going to have one or two times where it happens in a semester. I mean, life happens. But any time that you can prepare ahead of time and know what's going on, you will be amazed at how much quicker and more, um, more thoroughly you learn things if you take the time to read ahead the lesson before you come to class. You get a syllabus, you know what's going to be taught that day. If you can read ahead of time, it will help you learn so much quicker than if you just go in there cold. Honestly, one of the highest expectations I think we can set for our students is be there. They miss so much when they're not in the classroom. Um, it's like, you know, somebody telling you secondhand about the baseball game they went to see last night. It's just not the same unless you were there. And the best thing you can do, and all people say, ask questions. I know that's easy said, but very difficult to do. People are not judging you, I can tell you that. The question you have, I guarantee you, half or maybe all of the class have that same question. Clarify, clarify, clarify. Do not go on if it hasn't been explained to you. If you read it and you do not understand, just say, well, what do you mean by that? You know, what, what, what do they mean by that? An analogy that I use with our students that is, that's helpful is I often tell them that it's, it's kind of like eating. You want to ingest the material before you come to class, and then you chew on it in class with the professor, and then you digest it after by reviewing the material, uh, both reviewing what you read prior to class, reviewing what you went over in class, and then putting it all together. And I think that's a big part of how the classroom operates. I expect them to meet other people to get a phone number so that if an emergency arises, they can call that person and say, hey, what do we do today? You know, or do we have an assignment that we need to turn in the next time classes meet? Most colleges do ask you to come to class because there's a reason. That's where you get the best amount of material. You can ask questions for clarification. And in addition, a lot of times instructors will ask you to read the textbook and totally talk about a different subject in the classroom. If you're not there, you miss it. 